Newell Shearwater and the Hawaiian Petrel, they nest up in the mountains. And it's actually a very different habitat to here. So they nest in these upper montane forests, really wet forests, typically on these really steep ridge lines. Really what they're looking for is structure. So they like to be able to tunnel into the ground and under trees. So these birds, they're basically burrowing into the ground in a natural habitat. They're using root structure and they're tunneling underneath and they create this long tunnel. And then they have a, a burrow chamber at the back where the bird settles and the chick is raised. So the idea is to bring them in just before they emerge up in the mountains for the first time, because when they emerge, they fixate on the, the first site that they see. So the chicks are probably two to three weeks from fledging. The predator-proof fence is really important because it does prevent those kind of the secondary and the tertiary predators from coming in. So having, having the, the predator-proof fence is going to be extremely, extremely um, beneficial to the ground nesting birds particularly. So I, you can see here, this is an artificial burrow. And this is the, you can see the white there, that's the entrance to the burrow itself. The burrow is about sort of this big and this deep. Um, it, it's mimicking a natural burrow. And so the bird's inside there in this little chamber. And then we've got the lid on top and then this um, sandbag to keep the lid down to give it some extra shade. And then you can see the tube poking out over there and that's the burrow entrance. So eventually when the birds start exercising, they'll come out of their little burrow chamber and work their way over to the entrance there where they'll start exercising before they take off. The Newell Shearwater in particular, I mean, it was a species that used to darken the skies of this island. And now we're talking, you know, we're, we're down to thousands when it used to be many, many, many more. And so a project like this is vital to, to conserve them into the future because they're, they're Kauai's bird. 